It has been called one of the world's engineering wonders. The Colorado River Aqueduct carries water across the desert, over mountains, through tunnels, and underground pipes to cities and communities throughout Southern California. The Colorado River Aqueduct supplements water from local sources and water from Northern California that flows through the State Water Project to meet the needs of Southern California's 19 million residents. In 1928, 13 cities joined together to form the Metropolitan Water District of Southern California to build the aqueduct that would provide the water needed to sustain their growing population and economy for generations to come. Today, the Metropolitan Water District consists of 26 public agencies that combined serve a 5,200 square mile service area that spans six Southern California counties. Metropolitan's Colorado River Aqueduct begins at Lake Havasu, Havasu is a Mojave Indian word meaning blue. Water is drawn out of the Colorado River at the Witsit pumping plant, the first of five pumping plants that lift the water a total of 1,617 feet before it begins its downhill trip in Southern California. Along the aqueduct route, the water travels through 63 miles of open canals, 92 miles of tunnels, 55 miles of underground concrete pipe, and 28 miles of pressurized tubes called siphons. Siphons pull the water under areas where an open canal could be damaged or destroyed by a flash flood. About two days and 242 miles after leaving Lake Havasu, the water reaches Lake Matthews near Riverside, where it flows by gravity to cities and communities throughout the region. The Colorado River Aqueduct is an essential public project of vital importance. Metropolitan is diligent in the maintenance, upkeep, and repair of the aqueduct. During winter months, when water demand is low, the aqueduct is shut down for up to two weeks for round-the-clock maintenance to keep it in top condition. Shutting down the aqueduct also allows Metropolitan to dry out and kill invasive quagga mussels. These tiny shellfish were unintentionally transported from Europe in the ballast water of ocean-going ships. They spread throughout the Great Lakes and now have invaded the Colorado River system, threatening the proper functioning of Metropolitan's complex system. The Colorado River Aqueduct is more important than ever. Pumping restrictions due to environmental degradation in Northern California's Sacramento-San Joaquin Delta limit the water that Southern California receives from the State Water Project. This makes the Colorado River Aqueduct an even more essential regional asset. To learn more about Southern California's water resources, visit mwdh2o.com.